talk about how do I choose the right university in these countries. In fact, sometimes people apply to multiple countries, they want to hedge their bets, apply to multiple colleges, let the admits come out and then do a pros, cons evaluation, a SWOT analysis and then go about choosing the college. Hey, I got the best college in Australia, I got an okayish college in Ireland, okay, go, let's go to the rank one in Australia, that's completely fine because that increases your chances of getting a job. The same analogy what we spoke about while choosing the country, let's talk about while choosing the right university. Now there are universities where the class size is 1000 students, they take 1000 students per batch and there are universities which take only about 30 students per batch, okay. So now if you are a person you want to go to a small class size then you choose your colleges accordingly. There are universities where you might not find Indians and there are universities where there are only Indians. So now if you are looking at global diversity in your classroom you want to choose your colleges accordingly. Again when I talk of diversity, diversity is not just about which country you are from, diversity can also be in terms of age. There are colleges where average age is 28 years and there are colleges where the average age is 22 years. So if you are a person with about let us say 5-6 years of experience, you do not want to choose a college where everyone is a fresher and vice versa you are a fresher out of college, you do not want to go to a place where everyone has 4-5 years of experience and you might feel overwhelmed, hey I am at the bottom end of the ladder and everyone has experience and you might feel out of place, right. So these are small parameters that need to be taken into account when you choose the right university.